The Antarctic is home to 60% of the planet's fresh water, so it's vital for sustaining future life on Earth. Until now, scientists have thought that the East Antarctic ice sheet, the world's biggest, was less at risk from climate change than West Antarctica, due to its extremely cold temperatures, which can reach minus 40 Celsius. But now, after analysing declassified images of East Antarctica taken from spy satellites between 1963 and 2012, researchers are surprised by what they've found. What our study showed, and we looked at the climate data as well, is that some parts uh, of East Antarctica along the margin there are actually warming up to the point where we're seeing melting on some of these glaciers. So that surprised us, and that, that sees a, a very clear connection to the climate, if you like. The researchers found three significant patterns. In the 1970s and 80s, when temperatures were rising, most of the glaciers retreated. During the 1990s, when temperatures decreased, most of the glaciers advanced. And in the 2000s, when temperatures rose and then fell, there was a more even mix of glaciers retreating and advancing. Environmental campaigners have long warned that human activity is speeding up the melting of the ice cap in places like Greenland, as well as West Antarctica. Between 2001 and 2010, mean sea levels rose globally by about three millimetres a year. Now the British researchers are warning that the East Antarctic factor shouldn't be overlooked. Certainly in the future, I think, if we, if we carry on adding greenhouse gases to the atmosphere, we would expect to see this part of the world warm and we would expect to see a response from this, this ice sheet. The team says more studies are needed to work out the thickness of East Antarctica's glaciers and how fast they're transferring ice from inland to the ocean. But the signs are already there that changing temperatures are having a bigger impact than anyone suspected. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera.